Oh my gosh. Yo, what's up everyone? I hope everybody's good and stuff. I am. Today we're gonna go to four hotels in London. Why four hotels? Because for some reason, supercars like to live in really expensive hotels. We're gonna start with the first hotel out here in Mayfair called the Mayfair Hotel or the Mayfair Hotel and Bar. Um, yeah, that one. Oh yeah. And here is a white Lamborghini Aventador SV. One of 1,100 if you include the Roadstar versions as well. Not quite as limited as I thought it was. Finished in white with black accents. Or is that black with white accents? You know, the black wheels, ooh, that looks so goddamn good. The white paint, hell yeah. But I think the two contrasting colors kind of work very, very well. This is a 6.5 liter V12, 740 horsepower beast of a machine. And uh, when it was actually released, it was the most powerful Lamborghini ever made. Oof, uh, not anymore. I mean, 750 is not really that much anymore because uh, most cars right now are, uh, yeah, they are probably more powerful than that. Back then it was a big deal for Lamborghini. Some say this is the finest version of the Aventador ever. And um, um, anyway, um, hold on one second. If you top spec your Lamborghini Aventador SV, I expect to pay $650,000 US. <gasps> A little cash money. Woo, that's a little money. In the UK, that's 532,000 pounds. A little cash money. I don't have that kind of money. All right, now let's head over to the Connaught Hotel through Barclay Square. Who knows what we're gonna find there? Hmm, probably more Lamborghinis. Here at the Connaught Hotel, let me present you with exhibit number A. This is a super rare Lamborghini Aventador, 50th anniversary. This car was actually released to celebrate Lamborghini's 50th anniversary, and this is even rarer than the SV. In fact, there is a um, one of 100, I think, coupes and 100 Roadstars as well. The fact that it's actually rare makes it very, very desirable as well. So this one came all the way from California. That's somewhere in America, in case you're wondering as well. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool, man. Definitely one of my favorite Lamborghinis, and uh, you don't see these every day. It is probably Rosso or something in Italian, but I'll just call it red because it looks amazing. That rear diffuser is huge. The diffuser in the back looks very, very similar to what you'll see on a Lamborghini Venino. The black aero kit is absolutely dope. Next to the Aventador 50th anniversary is this Bentayga. This one also came from Cali for some reason. So it would appear the Bentayga and the uh, Lamborghini are owned by the same guy. The Bentayga is uh, like a plague in London. They're everywhere, especially this one, which is not very special and not from London. <laughs> But I don't know what you guys think about it, man. I think Bentegas are cool, but they're just not as cool as they could be in standard look spec kind of thing. So yeah, Bentega. This is a poor man's Ferrari. There's definitely a theme going on here. Ferrari, California. Pentega from California. We also have uh, an invented of 50th anniversary from California. And now we have a California from Kuwait in London. Still don't like the Cali, even after that. While I was filming the Cali, I was desperate for a wee. By the time I got back, uh, the Cali was gone, so I missed it leaving. In this place, um... A YSEC pack, Porsche Judy 2 RS. One of the most beautiful looking Porsches there is. 
So yeah, I love it, man. This guy obviously did not hold back. He spent a little cash money to make sure he specced it with a top range YSAC or YSAC pack. And uh, it looks mad. The carbon hood, oh man, it looks so good. So the price of the GD2 RS is a 207K or if you spend another 25,000 pounds or 31K US, you can add a YSAC pack as well. And the same guy who owns the YSAC also owns this Bentayga. I think it's Nardo Grey. I don't know if that's paint or wrap, but man, it looks cool. It looks way cooler than the Bentayga from uh, California up front, because this one is just a color, it just works. The black wheels is just like, amen to that. Very, very nice Bentayga. The right spec, the Bentayga can actually look good. I think this one has got a little a bit more than the one I showed you guys previously, because it's got like a, a wing in the back as well. It's a bit more aero, like it looks, it looks better to the eye. But I left the corner hotel and headed down Mount Street where I also saw this GD3 RS. And then there is this um, G-Wagon drop top. You like that? Uh, yeah, I don't know man. G-Wagons shouldn't have drop tops because it just looks weird. The Grovna Hotel. This hotel is notorious for not allowing anyone to film or photograph anything in the car park, but I went anyway. Yes, that is another Bentayga. <laughs> there were the two Bentaygas. There's also the 2019 AMG G63 4x4 as well. That's kind of cool. And then next to the Bentayga is also this, this 6x6 AMG G63 G-Wagon. Originally developed, I think, for the Austrian army or was that for the Australian army? I can't quite remember. So this thing's it's an absolute beast. Uh, it's got six wheels instead of four and uh, it's absolutely amazing. It's a 500 and, I can't remember how many horsepower it has, but it has a lot. So the six by six is freaking huge. This thing is massive. It's got six wheels. It's for hardcore off-roading off uh, in London. Those are 37 inch wheels. That basically just, yeah, they're, they're, they're massive. This guy obviously likes white cars because um, right next to his AMG G63 6x6 is also a white Rolls Royce uh, Cullinan or Cullinan. Because obviously Rolls Royce, as you guys know, has gone into the business of making 4x4s. If you wanted um, an off road Phantom, um, you get yourself a Cullinan um, 4x4, the most luxurious SUV or truck you can buy on planet Earth. It's more like uh, a slab of concrete and brick than a car, but um, you know what? I'm kind of getting to love it. Actually, it looks kind of cool, especially in white as well. And then next to it, which I don't think is this car, is another Cali as well. You see, there's another theme going on here. You've got another Cali wrapped in chrome silver. Hmm, not good. I thought that was big because of the vehicle. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. Why? Yeah. I'm so while I was filming the cars, um, I politely got told to uh, vacate and leave. Um, yeah. So I did. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. For some reason, man, the Grosvenor Hotel is not like other hotels, man. They will not let you film or photograph anything in the car park, which kind of sucks because often there's some pretty cool cars in there. But uh, anyway, so at least I managed to catch something and then I left. Across this. Yeah, it's a Lamborghini Urus, but it's a little bit different because it's got it's a very strange body kit to it as well. I don't quite know what it is, but my guess is it's a kit made by a company called Top Car. Wider, it's lower, and it's got carbon in all the right places. Carbon on the hood, the engine covers all carbon. Wheel arches are all carbon, then the skirts are all carbon the Lamborghini logo in the back is the same color as the rest of the car, yellow. So I'm not sure if it's actually a wrap or if it's actually color, I don't know, but all I know is it looks cool. Coolest looking versions of the Urus that I've seen. The Urus is cool standard, but I think it looks cooler with this top car uh, body kit. I think it's top car. If it isn't, uh, let me know. There's this initial AB on the side of it. I don't know if that's the company that 
did the conversion or I, I have no I don't know who the hell AB is so if you know what uh, the kit is let me know and if you know what AB stands for let me know as well so yeah and let me know what you think of the Urus AMG GTR, European equivalent of um, a muscle car, I think. Pretty sick, especially in this acid green. As already I can see in Aventador SVJ in the coolest color that I think I've ever seen on any Lamborghini, man. That is spec wise, he, he nailed it, man. That's like he aced it. Boom, it's like the color is like mind blowing kind of dopeness right there. Um, next to that, another Aventador as well, but this time in his Smurf blue, man. Very, very nice color. I like it a lot. But the SVJ looks cooler though. The color is absolutely amazing. And then that was all she had. So let me know which one of the cars in this video were your favorite. Let me know. Just as a disclaimer, all the outside bits were filmed before COVID, um, before the lockdown. So yeah, so I'm not gonna get in trouble for that. Obviously this bit inside my house is filmed during Corona.